Good morning, morning. everybody. Good morning. Happy I was, Tuesday. I was told I was quiet on the live yesterday, so today I'm going to shout. Tonight, today you're going to get loud, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> I won't really. I won't really. Good Kelly's morning, never really. loud, are no, you, Kelly? No. But this morning, um, we are discussing everything um, safe sleep. So we've got a variety of different places where babies can sleep. Yes. Um, and we're going to discuss kind of the um, what what's the safest like place and things for baby. Way, yeah, products to use, products not to use. Obviously, it's one of the most important things. SIDS is a, a worry for a lot of new parents. Yeah. So um, just a few tips to help you keep the baby safe. Definitely. And then today, um, all of our comments, um, they are in the draw to win um, a Claire de Lune foldable um, bedside crib, which yep. is really lovely. Really nice. It's in the Stars and Stripes design. And as you can see, it's all breathable all the way around the sides. Yeah, we've got all your mesh. Mesh panels around the side. And it's just great because it's, as the name says, it's foldable. So when you don't need it, you can just tuck it away. Um, I did try and do it on a live before and it was entertaining to say the least. Did you fail? Yes, I gave up <laughs> halfway. But um, you just obviously unscrew it and it, then it, it will fold It does come up. with your little um, matching coverlet as well. Yes. Very, very nice. So, so all you need to do is comment and then, like always, um, at the end of the live, we'll be drawing the winner um, on the live. So, yeah, you'll find out the winner. <laughs> I'm going to go through and see who's with us this morning. Kaz says morning. Claire Whiteley says good morning, ladies. Morning. Helen says morning, girls. Morning from Catherine. Good morning, Helen. We've got lots of mornings. Yeah, good morning, Charlotte. Good morning, Amelia. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Pauline. Good morning, Claire. Good morning, Emma. Good morning, Jodie. Good morning, Margaret. Good morning, Angela. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning to you all. Happy Tuesday. I had to think. <coughs> it's not Monday. It is Tuesday. It is Tuesday. It is Tuesday. We had Monday yesterday. Huh? We had Monday yesterday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you look at me like that. I was like, what did she say? It goes Monday, Tuesday. Oh, okay. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. It will, and it'll yeah. be my day off. But anyway, oh, nice. uh, you'll be watching this tomorrow. I will, I will. Um, so yeah, we've got a variety <coughs> of different products to look at. So we have got obviously um, a cot bed, a bedside crib, well, a couple of bedside cribs, and then also a Moses basket to look at. Yeah. So the advice um, for newborn babies is that they sleep in the same room as you overnight, or for any of their sleeps, um, up to the first six yeah. months. So um, we would always advise that you use one of these versions but then also you do have plenty of people that might go for a if they've got the room yeah. got a cot bed or cot in their room with them yeah. and then that will last i get asked that a lot well. do you have to have a bedside crib no. no you don't have to have a bedside crib they're just really popular aren't they, they do make it easier for feeds in the night and things yeah. to especially if you've a cesarean it makes it a lot easier obviously not having to, get to them. kind of um get out of bed every time and um, when you need to get little one but obviously if you have got the room in your room great you can yeah. have a, obviously a cot bed just and i bet you. they'll stay in there longer than the six months as well yeah keep them for longer why not yeah, yeah. <laughs> um but so where should we start should we start with our, maybe our prize today yes let's start with the prize then so say so you've got your claire de lune um foldable breathable bedside crib say so it is breathable all the way around the sides um, you can obviously use this, um, say, overnight um, in your room, or you can have it downstairs as your yeah, main nice, sleeper. It's a nice, we've got a sheet on here, um, but it is a nice um, thick mattress yeah. as well. Keep them comfortable, but it's quite a firm one, so perfect yeah. for newborns. We always say it's quite nice if you've got dogs or got like... Yes, it is very stable. So yeah. you, um, Moses baskets, generally, you can um, keep it stable as well, but usually have a rocking function. Yeah. So they're a little bit... And it's, it's a thinner base as well, well isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Whereas young children or dogs that might jump up and want to have a look at baby, uh, baby yeah. in there, a bit inquisitive, yeah. um, it's, it's a nice stable one. And most dogs, unless you've, unless you've got a dog like Kelly's, wouldn't be able to put their face over the top. <laughs> Actually, yeah, Inca could just walk up at that now. Okay. She's 15 weeks old now, <laughs> so she literally could walk over and just be like, hmm, I don't need to Whereas do Whereas my dog could just probably put the face could, in. Yeah, she could look, this is a, a dog window. If yeah. You want to that instead. <laughs> yeah, they could just supervise, maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a really nice, really lovely design, but also so it's very clever say so it's foldable yep. it's great if um, you want in that safe place for baby to sleep at grandparents at friends obviously when little one can can start visiting family which is lovely isn't people it people loving the prize love this crib great prize fabulous prize looks really cozy yeah so cute It'd be useful for downstairs yeah absolutely really like uh, the foldable crib it's smaller than a big crib that takes so much space yeah great mm. for caravan holidays or at grandparents joe said yeah yeah just bought a moses basket for downstairs so need something for upstairs that's yeah. angela 
and it's at a really great price as well at the moment. So it's currently on yeah. offer. It should be $89.99, and it's currently on offer for $62.99. So yes, it's a really it's good, good offer. Yes, it should last you um, the six months that you need it to. Um, one of the things um, for safe sleep is that um, any of these areas that you're using is that it's an empty cot, an empty yeah. Moses basket, an empty bedside crib. So literally just the cover or the sleeping bag that they're wearing, yeah. they don't need anything else in there with them. No. Empty cot is a safe cot. Yeah. Um, as you can see, our baby is in here. Um, one thing we always say, and it's one thing that's <coughs> the safest place for baby to be laying, is if I just lift this up, feet to the end rather than to the top. Because yeah. they do wiggle, even newborns yeah. wiggle. So if they've got a blanket like this on, if you decide to use a blanket as opposed to a sleeping, a sleeping bag, they could then wiggle down. And if they're at the top of the cot, they could wiggle all the way down. Um, to the feet are at the bottom and then the quilt maybe or the covering over the face. Is, is over the face so you want to yeah. make sure that they are nice and safe in there yes um so say so what we always do is they recommend to the feet and then always tuck in your blanket of choice kind of under the arms again essentially like kelly says if they do wriggle anyway it's going to be kind of placed under their arms yeah. already you don't want any danger of anything going up over the face no amelia's just asked i'm just going to try something so the foldable crib, crib is it slightly bigger than a moses basket so i'm just going to grab the Moses basket mattress this is probably easier way to show you. Excuse me, baby. You have to come out. If I pop that in there, you can see the size difference. So not only is it wider, it is also longer as well. Yeah. So you've got your square shape as opposed to your natural, uh, natural, traditional yeah. um, circular. So your Moses basket won't last quite as long as something like your bedside crib. That's typically... Um, Especially if child's a bit more petite, it may last you obviously like a little bit longer. Um, but as you Come saw, there is a big size difference um, between the Moses basket and the bedside crib. So um, it will definitely last you that little bit longer. But I say it's really, really nice design. I say this one, I say it comes in this stars and stripes, some with the grey. Um, kind of matches everyone's house yeah. really doesn't it <laughs> ellen's asked if it raises it's just a standard height if you need something that needs to adjust like more like a bedside crib then you need to look at those yeah. options that can adjust up and down but this is just one size it's it's supposed to be next to the bed or downstairs or wherever yeah. right as opposed to attaching to the bed yeah definitely but yeah really great prize i say anyone that has already commented is already in the draw to win one for themselves they can either if they don't need it for themselves they can give it to a friend family um nominate somebody that does need it because there's lots of pregnant people. <laughs> so Cladeline have been around a long time um, yeah. and they make some beautiful bedding, they make beautiful Moses baskets, um, sleeping bags and, got, and also accessories as yeah, well. Yeah, they've got really nice designs haven't they? Yeah. Um, they do lots of different lovely um, Moses baskets, they do Moses baskets with your little um, kind of like towelette bundles which is really yeah. nice as a gift. Yeah. Um, you can kind of give that to friends um, yeah. which I think is lovely. And the different shapes as well so you've got like ones that are more, the ones that are palm, ones yeah. that are wicker, um, a ones that kind of have a curved bit, or ones that are more traditional like the one we've got here. Yeah, we sell a lot of Claire de Lune um, kind of Moses baskets. And you can use um, it on a stand, with, which is a rocking stand, or you can use um, one that stays still as well. Yeah, but something like your Moses basket here, so you, buy, you can buy it in separate. It's different. Um, you can buy it in separate kind of modes, so you can buy the, the Moses basket on its own and then you buy the rocker. Yeah. Um, so you can choose different designs from your natural to your grey to your white. Um, but the stand is $24.99 and the Moses basket, which will include, as you can see, is your wicker basket, which is very, say so you can see the quality on that, it is really lovely. Uh, very premium um, feel, again with your leatherette kind of handles. And then you also get all your cover coverlets as well with the little hood. Um, so you can choose from lots of different designs. They do white, cream, pink, blues. Um, they've also got stars and stripes as well. Yeah. Um, different themed ones. They've got a few collaborations that they've done recently as well. Yeah, um, but you're designs. looking at thirty nine ninety nine um, for the Moses basket. The so Moses basket is quite a good um, price wise. Yeah. So if you're looking, <coughs> excuse me, I've like swallowed a fly. If you are looking more of a bedside crib, they tend to be a pricier option. There yeah. are cheaper ones as well, but they are more expensive. Yeah. Whereas your Moses basket your cribs tend to be quite a good price. Yeah, a lot of people like Moses baskets either for for during the night or obviously downstairs because um, it's not doesn't take up too much room. No, yeah, they're quite portable as well, aren't they? So yeah, you can move it where you need light, it. Very light, very easy to man to manoeuvre as well, which is great. Um, they just don't last quite as long. No, as you can see with the size difference in the mattress. No, they don't. They don't last as long. But it's nice for that when they're really tiny they, because it, they will naturally fill that space a little bit yeah. better than rather than a big 
kind of bedside crib. <coughs> um, but everyone's very different. You don't have to have a Moses basket. It's not something that is required for everyone to purchase. It's personal choice um, really on there. But yeah, it's a nice one. And you can adjust, obviously, if you don't want to have the rocker on, you can just use your stands. Quite a lot of people saying that it's ideal, Pauline and Tricia, when their um, grandson and granddaughter stay overnight. So yeah, if you want something. Yeah. So now you can see that will be stable. But obviously, like we're saying with dogs, obviously that is stable, but obviously it's still got it's a little not, bit of movement. Yeah, because, it can still come off the stand, can't it? Yeah. So if, It's all about the dogs, basically, isn't it? Yeah, a lot of people Yeah, a lot of people have got dogs during lockdown, obviously, and then now they're pregnant. It's one thing we do actually get a lot of, yeah. I think. And people going, oh, what would you recommend the best yeah. for, if you have got pets? I suppose my, my sister, she has a cat, and her favourite place was to sleep in the Moses basket. I know, so that's something else you need to be aware of. If you've got cats, you don't want them jumping in with them. No, so it's being very yeah, kind of aware of where you're placing things. You'd be able to get things. cat nets yeah. for things, like, historically. Yeah. To stop the cats getting in with the baby. Yeah. Um, Helen says, her someone is in his baby low crib till 10 months. Yeah, so he really lasted yeah. a good amount of time in there. And there's asked if we've got newborn sleeping bags. We will move on to sleeping bags for you. And there yeah. are newborn options. So the sizes that we've got here, we've got 0 to 6 months. And you've got 6 to 18 months as well. Yeah, and then have we got any big ones out of the order? I think, I think these are all ones. newborn ones, actually. So these are to last you yeah, 0 to 6 months. Oh no, that's oh, no, that one's 12 to 24. 12 to 24, this one. On your sleep suit. But yeah, so we yeah, have so got a variety. Should, if we, should we talk about sleeping bags now? So people yeah. might go for a sleeping bag as opposed to a um, blanket because baby is completely contained. Your newborn size often has little poppers as well to stop um, them from getting their arms out and, and sliding down inside it. Make yeah. sure that it's one that's certified, so it has been tested and, and safe to use yeah. in newborns. You can see on this one, this is the snooze one. This is a snooze pouch, so it's really lovely. They do lots of different designs <coughs> on here as well. Yeah, you do have little poppers under the arms that you can keep poppered for tiny newborn babies that are in yeah. there. Stops them from getting their arm back in. And one really clever design um, on here, um, Again, during the night, obviously, it just means for, set, for practicality, you have got this kind of half zip. And what this allows you to do, if I can access my zip in here. Why don't you lay it in the cot bed? There you go, there's your changing area. So, what you can do is unzip, and it gives you access then, obviously, um, to Charles' nappy area, and you can change them um, during the night, which is really, really great. Rachel says she's really tempted to buy one. She thinks it lasts longer than the Moses basket. Well, just hold your horses, Rachel. Maybe. You may be our winner yeah. today. Who knows? You have yeah. commented, so you could be our winner today. Sasha's asked what the dimensions are. I don't know the exact dimensions, actually, but they will be on the website, or if you message us, we can check for you as well and let you know. Yeah. What's the prize, Sean? Um, the prize is the Claire de Lune foldable, breathable crib, which we've got here. Yeah, but I say it's really, really nice. They come in two different designs, uh, two different sizes, two different sizes, like we said. Yeah. Um, and and lots of different designs. Huge of different designs, um, which yeah. is great. Um, it's a really popular one. And different um, togs as well. So make sure that yeah. um, one of kind of, the, we'd say the essentials for baby's room is a thermometer, whether it's one of the little ones that you can get with a sleep, some of the sleeping bags. Yeah. Um, or whether it's one that's on your um, monitor. Yeah. Or you can get the standalone ones as well. Yeah. Um, just so you can keep an eye on it, because lots of people will try and keep baby really warm. That they think they don't want to get it cold, yeah. um, but it's actually more dangerous um, for child to overheat. Sids for them to overheat as opposed to keep cooler. It's actually better yeah. to keep them cooler. Yeah, you've actually got the temperatures, haven't you? You know the temperatures that they. Yeah, so they recommend uh, around 18 degrees is the sort of temperature room that you are looking at um, for the nursery. Um, I say every, every every house is very different, but I say that's why those things are very. They're just good. They're just good to know, kind of get an indication of the room temperature. And then that then allows you to dress child to, to the appropriate, appropriate weather. Yeah. Because if it is cold, you can obviously layer um, more. Um, and obviously, in those summer months, they could be absolutely fine um, with that less layers, obviously. Yeah, in a nappy, in a, yeah. in a summer weight tog sleeping bag. So yeah. uh, these ones, are they two and a half togs? Yes, yeah, so these are two and a half togs. So really great with the busy grain and also the snooze patches also have it as well. But on the back, fingers crossed you can point this out, it will tell you the room temperature and also the tog of... What you should dress which them tog, in. Yeah. yeah, if they're in which tog sleeping bag, what they should be wearing. 
So 0.5 if it's uh, over 24 degrees um, and just a vest underneath, or obviously the other end of the scale going for a 3.5 tog with a vest and their, their full jammers underneath as well, mm. so from 15 to 18 degrees. Yeah, so that goes from your hottest temperature to your coldest. Um, it just allows, but nice little indicator to have, obviously. Yeah. 2.5 tog is kind of your general all throughout the year yeah. and then you've got 0.5 tog like the busy growing um, bag there or you've got one here yeah and um, which is a thin muslin lightweight um, which tog is great for, the for those months. yeah it's great for summer because you can just have really thin yeah. layers on um, and obviously then just a vest or just a nappy underneath just nappy it's underneath. hot nights because it's nice and safe obviously because you've not got um, kind of any loose material it's all attached obviously to little one which is really really great um, I do love these and they do come in lots of different designs and obviously you have probably seen before um, a lot of our kind of the, the lions and beautiful the beautiful designs aren't they? Yeah. Really. Pauline thinks she's going to go in with this instead of a travel cot which is too big for the room where her grandstand stays over. Yeah, good yeah. idea. Yeah. So looking at pricing wise, so you are looking um, for your kind of your busy growing and your snooze pouches. So your snooze pouch is varies from pricing. Uh, you are looking around from £25 um, all the way up to £34. Um, it depends, some are on offer currently. And that's the same with all the bags. They are around that sort of pricing. Sean's um, asked what age the Moses baskets go up to. So they're tested to nine kilos. Yeah. Um, but that could, they could outgrow them at three, four months old. It's if all depends on size. baby, it could be six months. Yeah. So um, they are smaller, so that's something to bear in mind if you want something to last longer. Um, and but it will depend on, on the size of baby, but they are a bit smaller. Yeah. Other things that we do sell, so we have obviously got the sleeping bags, which is something that we, a lot of people do like and like the look of, and it's a very safe um, thing for the little one to be wearing. Yeah, there's no blankets to worry about, is there? No. Um, but if the little one does need a blanket, one thing we always do recommend is a cellular blanket. Now, yeah. a cellular blanket, um, as you can see, um, it's got your little holes throughout Patty's the asked, are oh, Moses basket safe? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Completely safe for baby to sleep in, they're just a little bit smaller. So good if you've not got much space. Yeah. Sorry, carry on. So you've got your little holes within the cellular blanket. It just means, obviously, if it was to happen, obviously, we would always make around that material. It's all nice and tight, so tucked under their arms, obviously, while they're sleeping. But if it did, if it does go over their face, obviously, it is all breathable. Yeah. Breathable material, but obviously... You it's get different sizes, can't you? Yeah. So for your pram or your crib... You're looking at seven ninety nine for your pram size, and then fifteen ninety nine if you're wanting one for your cot bed. So it's not just for when they're tiny; you can use it when they're a toddler, yeah, and when they're older as well. Because it is more; it's not just during that newborn stage where it's really important, obviously, for safe sleep. It's all the way through, um, and we do sell the cellular blankets in a variety of colours. So you've got cream, white. I think I've grabbed a few out. That you've, um, got so you've got all of them. You've got pink, blue, and then also grey. Everybody's favourite grey. Uh, Helen says she's got two toddlers at home and she's due a baby in August, so she definitely needs something a bit more sturdy. Yeah, so the crib might be a good option for you, Helen. Yeah. Oh, they're loving the pandas and the giraffes. Yeah, they look cute, yeah. but also they're very safe for and little And then you've also got um, your flamingos as well. Yeah, your flamingo. Or your you've cloud. got your unicorn. That's my personal favourite, the unicorns. Do you need sleeping bags in the summer? It depends on the um, temperature, Margaret. So yeah. if it is really warm, just a sleep suit. Um, or a vest is fine if yeah. you don't want them in a sleeping bag. Some babies might prefer to just have something, yeah. in which case a 0 0.5 is a better option. Yeah. Uh, but no, you don't have to. Yeah, there's lots of variety of different things, obviously. There's even those um, kind of like wraps almost that baby sleeps in, things like yeah. that. There's so many different varieties of things yeah. that you can get. You yeah, can for get. tiny babies, if you're swaddling, you can um, use a muslin, which is again a breathable material. So yeah. if it is warm, it's a summer baby, you can still swaddle them without getting too hot. Yeah. Don't want no sweaty babies. No, so a great indicator, the one thing they always say is <coughs> it's, it's obvious, obviously, even with adults, if they, you feel like you touch their, their back, for example, and it is sweating, they are overheating. Um, one thing they do, or we always recommend, say, is a lot of people, I do anyway, my hands and feet are cold, I'm like, oh, I'm really cold. But if you think about it, your core temperature is always higher. So if their hands and feet are slightly colder, that's absolutely normal, that's absolutely fine, um, as long as kind of their core temperature is nice and warm and not too hot, obviously. That's one thing to be mindful of, they're not overheating. Like yep. I said, that's more dangerous than being a little bit cooler, obviously. Right, shall we look at bedside cribs? Yeah, so we've got two bedside cribs out. We've got the Maxi Cozy Iora. We're and covering it up a little bit there, aren't we, with all the uh, sleeping bags? Yeah, let's move some of these sleeping bags on here. So, really popular option. I loved my bedside crib and I used it um, up until I've maxed it right out. 
um, it was nice having my little one in with me. Um, I've got the Snooze Pod 4 over here, which has some upgrades from the Snooze Pod um, 3. Yeah, let's pop this bit down. It's really clever design, so it's got kind of their um, kind of surface breathable area all the way through. So the mesh panel that's built up, um, and yeah. you can kind of throughout all of that, there's the airflow con con control really, which is really yeah. good. So it helps regulate the temperature. Um, you've got a breathable mattress in the bottom, and um, this now fits more beds than any other bedside crib because um, you've got adjustability up to 73 centimetres. Yeah. And you just adjust it over the down the sides. Yep, so you just where you want, it's the stand that adjusts, isn't it, rather than yeah. the crib part. But I really like in their um, manual what they have is they give you an indicator. So if your bed is so high, they'll tell you they'll which hole to put it on. Yeah, that's which good. I think it's kind of so you've not got a guess and put it in. And you're then not going to put it in, I'll it do it again, do it again. Yeah. Which is great. But underneath, you can probably see here, you've got this breathable panel. So if little one's face, as they're at that stage where they do start to kind of move, so face does kind of touch the sides, they have got this breathable um, comfort air. Somebody system. said if you swaddled baby, would you put a blanket over them too? Dep again, it depends on the temperature in the room. Yeah. Um, swaddling might be enough, or you may need to yeah. pop another blanket over the top if it's cold. Every so it always goes off what your temperature of your house. Every yeah. every room is very different, and that's why it's always important to have some sort of thermometer in the room so you can check. Can you use a blanket as a sleeping bag? Um, not as a sleeping bag; it just be used as a blanket. Yeah, again, like we did in the bedside crib, just making yeah, sure the little one is all the way to the end of the kind of the bedside crib or Moses basket and yeah. then tuck it underneath their arms. Um, Lindsay said she's always swaddled her two boys when they're newborns, but she thinks she might have used the sleeping bags for them now. Yeah, they, they weren't about, I suppose, then, but yeah, they're really handy. And it's just, you just know, it's just a little bit peace of mind, isn't peace it? Peace of mind, you, you, yeah, as, as well. You, and, and it's, it, I know it doesn't happen as much, but you can, children can still get their arms out and things, can't they, with, yeah. with swaddling? So yeah. it just, obviously, with those buttons, it's just they just can't get their arms back in. Hayley, she says she worries the baby will get too cold in the night. If she's cold, she's worried she is. Yeah, so babies don't, they, it is better for them to feel a bit cold, so if you touch, yeah. not obviously freezing cold. But. No, but say it's always, I, I know the, um, the same as if you touch their hands and feel, oh, they feel, they feel colder. Yeah. It depends how cold it is. Obviously, if their core temperature is nice and warm, um, just by putting two fingers in and just touching the chest or the back. Yeah, I think great, like it, how is, and also one thing we always recommend is no, nothing on the head while sleeping because if you think about it, children's and anyone they lose that you lose the heat from the top of your head. Um, so if you're wearing a hat or anything kind of covering the head, that's going to block that heat in. Then it's going to then yeah. obviously increase the risks of. Um, People asking about sleeping bags and blankets, you wouldn't need to use both because you can no. d d d differ the tog depending on the heat. So you wouldn't then need to put a blanket at the top. It's kind of pointless then using your sleeping bag if you're going to put a blanket on as well. Choose yeah. one um, and then just choose the And right choose top. your layers. It's one, the one and thing layers, say, yeah, yeah, underneath. So layers underneath rather than layers over the top. The point of the sleeping bag is to kind of allow there's no free material in the in the sleeping area. Yeah. Um, so you always lay it underneath rather than over the top. Yeah. So the snooze pod for, um, yeah, you can, like um, George just said, you can machine wash the liner so keep it nice and clean. Yeah. You've got, um, for any accidents or anything in there, you've got a reflux leg which we have got added onto the bottom. So if baby does suffer from reflux, there's a little leg just um, propped underneath. And that just means that it's slightly yeah. angled. Not too much, the baby's going to slide in about anywhere, but just no, a little just bit enough. so they're not um, to raise completely. Their, yeah flat and then this you can either have down or you can have up and again you've got your mesh at either side when it's up so if you are using it as a standalone crib yeah george has got the little um pole there so that, that just threads through the um i'm gonna try and do this while it's material <laughs> it's always what happens when you try and do things live there you go you just thread that through so you'd have it off obviously when you have got it down is and using it as a bedside crib but if you want to use it slide it through and then you just screw it in the other you end. You would zip it up as well, but we've not done that yet. And just screw it into there. And as you can see, that gives obviously a lot more of a structure yeah. um, to the sides. Again, you don't have to have things as a bedside. You can buy this. A lot of people do ask me this. Do you have to have this as a bedside crib? No, you no. don't have to. It can be a standalone crib in your room. So the safest place for baby to be in that first six months is in the same room as you. So yeah. it just means obviously baby's in your own sleeping zone um, and they can kind of, you can kind of, be there close to them, obviously, which is great. Yeah. Um, you can also carry this around quite easily. Yes, yeah, so you just got your lifts. Um, so it's a little, there's a little bit more to it with this, uh, with the mobile, mobile. which is, is new for, but it's just screws to the back. 
and you can just lift up, take downstairs with you, put it on the floor if you don't want yeah. to take the whole stand, and then just slide it back into place when you need to as well. So it's a nice um, that you, you can move it around the house quite easily. Yeah. The snooze um, mobile, say that's on there, we say they're nice to say again. They're out of the way, out of reach of baby, so it's perfectly yeah. safe to have. Um, this is the snooze one, it's, it's a nice standard, really lovely one. Yeah. Um, just for them to obviously catch their eye and to keep them entertained. But we do have other ones such as your Claire de Lune. Yeah, um, ones that you can clip is, onto anything. This is your snooze um, and your, um, your snooze mobile is 49.95. And then the snooze pod itself, so we have got some offers on at the moment. If you buy it on its own, it's 199 and 95 pence. Um, but if you buy it as a bundle, which the bundles the bundle, are really popular, aren't they? Yeah, and it's a, it's a good, really good price. Um, most people tend to buy it as a bundle because it makes more sense financially yeah. to do it that way. Um, so you can get your snooze pod. You also get your pocket, which is just hung on the side. Yeah, Great. really handy for night feeds and yeah. stuff that you might need during the night, isn't it? Having white change nappies, of clothes, yeah. change of clothes, like you say, things like that. Easy access. Even though you've got your storage as well on the bottom. Yeah, and then you also get um, a mattress protector and a two-pack of fitted sheets, as well as your snooze cloud, which is a sleep aid. Um, it does hang on the side, so it's perfectly safe um, to have um, at the foot of the bed. Um, you've got where your little tabs are. You've got your little musical, and then you've got your lights. So our battery's not working now. We've used it too many times, look. Oh, there we go. Oh, there they go. Rosy cheeks and... Rosy cheeks. Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's really, really lovely. Great little... It's working now, look. Yeah. Little um, sleep aid. Yep, so you can have it. When baby's tiny, it's fine there just so they can see the lights and stuff. But as they get bigger, you, you might want to just pop it off the side so there's nothing actually in the crib with yeah. baby. Um, Sasha, is it safe to put baby in just a vest and sleeping bag? Yep, if it's warm enough, just yep. put them in that. Um, you will, uh, there's plenty of things as well. The Grow Company, they have a lot of things, that, uh, little guides of, of yeah. what to put you can baby find in. Great when. advice on, um, yeah. on places like that. The bundle um, is £229. Yeah. For the snooze pod for so bundle. So £30 extra for all your accessories, and it just yeah. saves you quite a bit of money doing it that way. Okay. Jenna, is it true a small newborn shouldn't use a sleeping bag? No, you can, if you, as long as it's a newborn, not to six months or whatever size yeah. um, you need. Um, they tend to have extra poppers and they've been tested, so it's, it's fine to use them from birth. Hayley, her little girl, loves a sleeping bag and also a fluffy little blanket. Laura Marsh, uh, she uses a Moses basket in the front room on a stand during the day and then stands the Moses basket in the cot in yeah. her room during the night. Uh, would you recommend to buy several different sleeping bags in the different togs? Yeah, so just keep an eye on the temperature. Yeah. Generally, your 2.5 tog will kind of see you through, but if it's too warm, you might want to have a 0.5 tog. If that's really in our really hot summer months. Yeah. I know we don't get much of it, but no. um, yeah. just for a couple the of months, very going away. Range, isn't it? So if yeah. it's with the summer, you can have cool and warmer days. It's always good to have a variety of different yeah. sizes um, and different togs as well. Is it better to use a swaddle or a blanket for a newborn? Depends what they prefer. Some people, uh, some babies love being swaddled, some don't like it at all. So you kind of just have to go. They're both with what safe they with each other as long as they're done correctly. So yeah. they are safe to use. Um, just see if there's a snooze. Oh, Haley's got the snooze pod three, which she loves. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, really. I had the snooze pod three for my youngest. Yeah. Claire, her baby's due in May. Her first was a December baby, so she's got a summer and a winter baby. Yeah, so quite different with how you would be, yeah. be dressing baby. Yeah. So yeah, once you go over to um, your cot bed or your cot, same rules applies. Keep it empty. You don't want to, obviously dress it up how you like in the daytime when they're not in there. Yeah. But for night and for naps, always make sure it's an empty cot. Just have your fitted sheet on there. Um, bumpers are really a no. We don't sell them because we just don't think they're very safe. Um, I don't know why they still sell them. No, all. not when the, the mat things have happened with yeah. people using bumpers. <clears throat> Baby can pull them down so it can be um, a danger. That way they can roll over and just have their neck on it, which has happened before. I've seen like um, the plaited ones that you can, like, you've seen a lot of like... Because kind of, they look beautiful. They look yeah. beautiful, but great. Put them on, take a picture without baby in there, and, and then, then obviously take them, take them the straight seat. out. Yeah. It's not safe. But we do sell a few alternatives. So if you really do worry about baby rolling and hitting themselves or um, hurting themselves on the bars or with their legs going through, that kind of thing, you can get alternatives. So we've got Claire de Lune here. This is a Claire de Lune kind of fully breathable um, bedside kind of wrap. Um, so it kind of weaves, tie it on, and then you weave it throughout um, the kind of the, the bars that you see here. And it's a long 
one, but because it's, it's all breathable. breathable. So plenty of air still yeah. going through. It's all breathable, so it's perfectly safe for litter one, but also it's doing the job, like I say, a lot of people want them for safety reasons, obviously catching arms and hands yeah. and things like that through. Yeah. But also we do sell the busy growing wraps. Now these are the mineral just collection, but they also have the kind of bright, the bright really one. We had that in a live previously, so I just grabbed the mineral ones. Yeah, the time. mineral ones are really nice as well. Um, but as you can probably tell in the picture, you kind of wrap them around two bars, so you still have your gaps throughout. Just They'd stops them literally just bumping and hitting themselves hard on yeah. there. Um, it's all tested, all safe. And I say, um, I really like this as well. Again, busy growing, love this idea on the back. What they have done is they've kind of specified your room temperature and what you could have on here. Maya's asked, would you get a bedside crib or a Moses crib? What would you go for? A bedside Roger. crib, I think. Lasts a bit I love, longer. Yeah, lasts a bit longer. Um, but then uh, as well, if you want for something for downstairs, maybe your bedside crib is a bit heavy. Yeah. Don't want to move it as much. You might go for a Moses basket downstairs. Did you have your bedside crib attached to your bed? Yes. You had it as a, as a bedside <coughs> crib style? Yeah. Yeah, because I know some people that don't so have it. breastfeeding, so it's a lot easier. Slide to me to feed, lay down, and then just slide back in. Yeah. Yeah, I know some people like it, and some people, yeah. everyone's very different in what they think. Um, Rebecca, snooze pod is her favourite. She just got to convince her husband now before July. <laughs> then that's when babies oh, you've arrive. You've got plenty in. of time to convince. It's yeah. all right. Veronica, the mobile looks great. Does that come with it? No, it is an extra. Yeah, it's an extra purchase. And it's forty nine ninety five, but you can have it, which I think is really nice. They've done that um, to kind of match the colour of your snooze pod. Helen so, said the grow egg is fab for keeping an eye on temperature. Yes. That's one I really like. Yeah, yeah. I've seen it and I like that. So it, it basically it will keep a record of the temperature. I think you just plug it in rather than battery. It goes green. And then it's, yeah, it's, it's got different colours, isn't it? it? It's got yeah. Different, different colours when the temperature, depending on the room temperature, which yeah. I think is lovely. I think I'm a bit behind on the comments. I need to catch up with people. Um, what we have here um, is the Bori Natty cot bed, and it's £265. Um, just bought a cot bed, obviously, in it's a different one. We're going to try and bring in some different ones, obviously, because we have got a whole variety, haven't we? We do. Different cot beds. Um, but this is the Bori Natty one, um, and it is really, really lovely. Lovely design. Um, talking about, again about kind of safe sleep and the positions of baby to be. You can use, um, obviously, a cot bed straight from birth, can't you? Yeah. If you can have it in your room, you can use it straight from birth. <coughs> yeah, it's just a very big space for a newborn baby. They kind of look, look a little bit lost in there, don't they? Yeah, they do. So it's, it, that's why, obviously, they have, there are things like Moses baskets and, obviously, bedside cribs. Yeah. Um, but you have got three different positions on your kind of cot bed standard. So you will have a newborn position, which will bring the child a lot higher up. And obviously, the safest thing to do is as child starts to roll over, starts to move um, and kind of lift their, their head and neck, drop them down. Yep. They don't want to be in that highest position because it's just not safe. No, climb out, fall out. Yeah. So then you've got your midpoint. And then obviously, then as child starts to kneel and stand, then you bring it down to the lowest position, allowing it to be the safest thing for little one. We have also got um, the Maxi Cozy Iora bedside crib. I keep moving these sleeping baskets. <laughs> I feel like I just moved them the whole life. <laughs> um, but this is a really nice one again to look at. It's got a lovely high sides and it has got that breathable panel along the front. Um, but it's a good size as you can see. Well it should last you around about your birth to six months, nine kilograms. And it has the adjustable, I'll show you around here. Adjustable height, so you can have that same sort of colic lift feature, and um, as your snooze pod. Um, great design. So this is the graphite colour. You can it does also look have beautiful, it. doesn't it? Yeah, I like the wood effect. It's part of their kind of home range. They also have the bouncers, your swings um, as well. But it's really, really clever design because it's very secure, as you can see here. You have your zips, and then this time you kind of have a slide open. So really great place. Um, obviously, we always recommend with all this is with the snooze pod um, and obviously with any bedside crib, we wouldn't recommend, you would never leave the sides down, even use it as a, attached to the bed. Whenever you finish ba feeding baby, change your baby's nappy, you always place baby back in and then obviously do the sides back up. It just allows the little one to have their own sleeping zone. None of your quilts, your belongings, anything from you is going into the baby's sleeping zone because um, you just never know. Sleeping zone, I like it. Sleeping zone. Sleeping zone, yeah. It's a sleeping zone. It's not <laughs> just a sleeping area. Area, no. It's, it's a, a sleeping zone. zone. Yeah. I don't know where that's come from. Well, where have you got that from? I like yeah. it. It's all right. We'll sleeping refer zone. to that as all the time. Sleeping zone now. Well, in said um, she's looking at cots or cot beds next and would like a video appointment. Yep, you can put those on the website and we can take you around the furniture yeah. den. 
um, not a problem to show you all the different, show you the different varieties out. and obviously yeah. we can always discuss ones that are not in there and we always have yeah. lots on the line as well um, but yeah it's a really great one isn't it I like the fact that you've got the big storage underneath yeah you've got another big area there big storage underneath for all your bits so you can have every I think you kind of need for <coughs> the night time um, there are certain times obviously we'd recommend not having your bedside crib attached um, it goes without saying obviously if you're I don't know you've maybe on certain medication, on alcohol, any yeah, drink, drunk, yeah, drunk, things like that. <laughs> Obviously, we always recommend don't have it attached to bed for very obvious reasons. Yeah. Um, but most of the time, it is absolutely safe, perfect to have it as a bedside crib. But you always have to have it attached. So they will all come with um, straps, won't they? Yeah. Yep. So if you are, or do want it to keep it safe, so there's no gap between baby's sleeping zone and your sleeping zone. You can tie it to it. So it I'm going to change all the words on the website now. This is baby yeah. sleeping zone. Sleeping zone. Yeah. Sleeping zone. Yeah. Um, and this, this one tilt, Claire said. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is adjustable height. So, <clears throat> buttons over there. That is your lowest position. Ooh. That is your highest position, but then you can drop it slightly as well. So yeah. you've got one side lower than the other. Which is great. And I like how this kind of clicks up out of the way and it just looks really lovely. Yeah. Very structured. Now this is another one that's quite a good size. So your mattress size, you can see there, yeah. is quite big for baby. Breathable, um, kind of. You see underneath. It's, I like the fact that they've done that. You just again, like we say, baby temperature can really fluctuate. So it just means obviously there's good airflow to, towards yeah. the little one. No sweaty backs, as we say. Yeah. No. Charlie said, Max Cozy, it's amazing. We have one that looks really similar. It's a Tutti Bambini. Yeah. So we sell the Tutti Bambini Cozy. Yeah. Isn't it? And you've got the, and the hair as well. Air. Yeah. Um, but yeah, quite similar styling because you've got your wood effect yeah. and then your, your grey plastics as Definitely. well. Patty and they've got Tutti Bambini as well. June, May, so hopefully um, it will do the job. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Let us know how you get on with it. Do you like it? Yeah. We've also got here um, the outlet. <coughs> now, we, uh, there are lots of different cameras and things obviously you can have and um, they all have different little yeah, features. Some people just go audio monitors, don't they? Yeah. Some people Everyone's very different. Videos. This one is an app to your phone, um, but some people may prefer the extra monitor, um, obviously, so you can have that at all times kind of um, with you. When I was nanny and I had that, I had like a, use a little, I thought it was the best thing ever mm. because you just knew, you could see, I could talk through it, but also at the same time, everyone's very different they may yeah. not want that visual aid they may just want the sound mm -hmm. um but the outlet one connects to your phone i've only just taken mine out of tristan's room and he's three yeah like a video monitor yeah yeah i think i was still like it's just i just like to have a little check before he goes to sleep yeah because you would disturb him so if you went in yeah. to check on him before it I would went be, to even if you didn't sneakily creak through yeah it always he would wake up. up yeah so it was just nice having the the monitor but now that he's older and he sleeps a bit more yeah, soundly. I don't need to, don't um, need to I can watch just sneak him. No. Yeah. Um, but yeah, th this is a really, really nice one. It's very clever in how it works. Connect, say, connects to over the Wi Fi to your phone. Um, you can also have, like, say, your background audio so you can just be playing, um, which is quite nice if you are in the evening, say, watching TV or something. You can always have it on. Um, you can kind of switch the camera on and off so you can just use it as a visual, um, sorry, an audible um, monitor as well. Yep. It's got night vision and it's got very, very clever kind of um, features. And like we were saying, you need a thermometer. This also does that. So it will tell you the room temperature, which is great. Yep. And the other well. thing is that you can pair it with the smart sock that yep. they do, which also um, has wellness insights and it can monitor, what is it that monitors? It's the oxygen level and the heart rate, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So oxygen, heart rate. a little yeah. sock that goes on. So I think for some people, it really, I know in store when they look at it, it either sends them one or the other. Yeah, it's so either too much like would make them worse yeah. because they're constantly tracking those um, stats or it yeah. might be a bit of peace of mind and you know until the alert goes off that there's no need to worry. Yeah. But if, if I know some people, if, if baby's been in NICU or um, has any additional yeah. um, health needs, maybe it may be something you, you definitely something want to definitely need. Yeah. So if you want to buy it on its own for the hour let cam, it's £149 or you can buy it as a bundle with the sock, which is £389. Or you can just buy the sock on its own. You don't have to have their monitor, um, and that's two hundred and seventy-nine. Yeah, but so I like it's, it's a pricier end of the yeah. monitor. Market. But if you think about it, it has to. It's, it's got to be very technical yeah, to be able to pick up the oxygen energy. level and blood level um, and heart rate, and every, and it also is really clever. Um, it also picks up your baby's sleeping patterns. Um, so if baby does have kind of um, kind of issues with sleeping, if they're not sleeping during the night, it's always yeah. you've got that kind of. 
record of what their sleep is like. Yep. It also gets you into a routine, which is always something everyone wants to do with a newborn baby. Um, but yeah, your sock, they, the new one now will last, um, you've got a larger sock, so it lasts up to 18 months. So it's got a longer lasting sock um, and it is lovely. But obviously it's not for everybody, but it is something that you may want as a bit of extra reassurance maybe. Um, people are asking how much the Iora is. Let's go to Iora. I didn't write the price. I would say 189 yeah, 189 it's RRP, so sometimes it might be on offer or yeah. reduce it for price matching, but yeah, 189 is the um, RRP, I think. Yeah, and it comes in the graphite colour, which is this colour. Um, you've also got grey, which is a lighter colour, and then it also comes um, in Boom. your essential blue, isn't it, which yeah. is like a navy. Yep. I like in the Max Cozy crib, like the wood effect on it. It's different. I, I must admit, it's probably one of my favourites. Yeah. Laura says uh, they've got a um, one that connects to her phone, so you can check on them wherever wherever they are. Yeah, so leave baby in their cot. Yeah, go off down the pub. You can keep track on them. While <laughs> I have the camera on my dog, so I can't talk. <laughs> yeah, no, we like to check on Winnie during the day, don't yeah, we? And have a look at what she's up to. She's when she was tiny, it was not a good idea. Around, or? Yeah, she was doing all sorts, <laughs> and then I'm stuck at work. Like, I can't stop her. But, you know, <laughs> now she's not too bad, but. Um, yeah, really lovely um, kind of camera, but there are lots of different options to look at. So if you do need any advice or any other questions about monitors, um, obviously just send a message and we can always um, advise anyway. Yeah. yeah, some people will want the full works and go for yeah. everything. Some people just want to leave it. Veronica's just said what happened to letting them sleep and feed instead of tracking everything. Some people, it's just a bit of peace of mind being yeah. able to do that, but some people may still go that way. and just yeah. they Every just baby is very different. Every parent is very different. Yeah. So different everyone's ways of very, doing it. Yeah, and like you say, if there are kind of, concerns in the first place so if maybe there are kind of medical reasons as to why you may want to be tracking that that's really understandable so yeah it's first baby and you just want that extra reassurance or well, rainbow babies as well babies that have been born if there's been any issues with previous babies yeah. you got it's that just a bit worry. of peace of mind um yeah to help you yeah definitely um is that everybody is that we looked at everything i think we have i think yeah. we have covered everything but say all the people that have commented are in the draw to win the um foldable claire de lune bedside crib um, and it is really really lovely so it will come um kind of with all your materials you see here your stand and also your little coverlet that baby is lovely um demonstrating here for you claire's just asked the snooze do a mobile to match the urban gray they do one in all the colors, all the colors, yeah, all every the colors color. to match your snooze pod for and they are 49.95 um, um helen has agreed what we were just saying her third boy was prem and she debated buying the sock um, but she thinks it would have made her anxiety worse. Yeah, it can It can yeah. probably, depending on the kind of person you are or the problems that you're yeah. kind of going through, it might make it worse. Yeah, you. everyone's very different. I had um, the angel care monitor yeah. with a pad underneath, but sometimes it did go off and that made me worse. Yeah. So even though there was nothing wrong, if it had not moved very much, I, took, I ended up disconnecting the pad because I was like, <gasps> yeah, you're panicking. It makes us go wrong. more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And also, especially with those, if they, when child gets to that point when they're moving around more, it can go off and you're thinking, yeah. what's happened? Yeah, really. And they've just come really. off the pad, haven't they? So yeah. it's, it, there's different reasons as to why people buy certain products. Um, and I say, there's no right and wrong. There is no right and wrong when it comes to it. Everyone's very different. Yeah, you do what you need to do. You know your baby best and yeah. you know what's going to work for you. Definitely. So yeah, lots of options and obviously a lot more than we've got out today as well. So yeah, just, just kind of do your research and, and see what would work for you and your family and your baby best. Yeah, but obviously if you have got any other questions or would like any more advice, obviously, you know where we are. We can always send a Facebook message. Yeah. Um, Facebook message is probably the quickest and easiest way for you to just get in contact. Or you can Somebody's just call. monitoring it all the time. Um, so we yeah. can get back to you pretty quickly. If it's any serious problems or issues you need, usually email is best. Um, but yeah, like Georgia said, just give us a quick call. Yeah, we're we love a chit chat. chat. <laughs> we love Definitely. a chit chat. We do here, as you can probably tell. <laughs> uh, lots of people saying thank you for the live and for all the info today. You're very, very welcome. welcome. Yeah, we appreciate. That sometimes um, details is not easy to find sometimes so no it's hard because you get as well like to pass with on everything when it comes to i think with children there's always mixed opinions yeah and absolutely. mixed advice yeah. and things change all the time yeah. as well from advice from midwives as yeah. well I know, for example, like I hear a lot of people, oh well, well now I have my children. It was, it was, I did this, I did that. Mm. It's because as more knowledge and as more kind of um, research happens, yeah. you kind of learn more information. So it, everything will change. Um, but obviously, if you do need any help with anything, you know where we are. Yeah. Should we uh, draw a winner? Draw a winner. Who will be our lucky winner today? Um, oh, I'm on the other end of it for a change yeah. today. I get to say stop. I see you let it let it go for a while yesterday, didn't you? 
Yeah, I did, yeah. I was just folding up the, the yeah, wrap and let, and it let, go, yeah. let Joe go. But um, yeah, Kelly will scroll and I will say stop. And then who we stop on will be our lucky winner for our Claire Deline foldable bedside crib. Um, and the price of this one, if anyone else is interested, is $62.99 currently on offer. Um, so really great price. Are you scrolling? Yep. She's scrolling. I'm just dancing to my snooze cloud. I don't know if anyone can hear I know, me. I just left it on, didn't I? Stop. Congratulations to Hayley Owen. You are our winner today. Well done, Hayley. If you send us a message, um, we can get you your details. If you send us a message with your details, so your email address, phone number and address, we can get that all sent off to you. Yeah, come out with a call. Well done. Thank you, everybody, for joining. So we've... Uh, Hopefully, I, I always like to look to see if, um, if they, they comment. see and if they yeah. comment. Fingers crossed. But say, so hopefully, if you have found today's live helpful, um, just a bit of advice, obviously, because there is a lot of different sleeping areas and Still what do you need all of them? Do you need a Moses Best, then a bedside crib, then move on to the cot bed um, and things? So hopefully, it has been helpful. Oh, Laura said, perfect timing. Babies are now waking up for their nap, so it's milk time. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll be back again tomorrow, um, hopefully, in the live that you will find helpful. Yeah. Uh, any suggestions for lives that you'd like to see in the, the future, please let me know. We've had a suggestion for mattresses, so yeah. if mattresses is something that you're interested in, I know there's a lot of um, options and yeah. different kinds, different thicknesses, sizes, Naturals shapes. Naturals and, yeah. yeah, lots of different varieties. So that'll be a live that'll be coming Oh, Hayley has commented. Woohoo, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. So we shall see you tomorrow. Yes, we're back tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Bye. Bye.